boy. What? what? Feels like 42 outside. What is this? It's warm. Boy. This ain't Canada anymore. Ooh, we got the goods though. Ooh, ooh, we got the goods over here too. Look at this. Shields hooking it up fat. Right next to the essentials actually is what we need. Right here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely tasty. I don't know if any of you guys have tried that. Looks real interesting. The crank caddy. Don't have tangled crankbaits. Anyways, I'm at Shields with Bond's daddy. As you saw, they got the Guggen Baits. They got the goods. If you're in Omaha, Nebraska, go check out Guggen Baits at Shields. But we're here to not to catch bass, not to do bass fishing. We're back from Canada. Austin and I just got back yesterday, and we're going to go and try to catch some trout. Now, I've heard that there's a, a lake that it is in town that they have stocked, and I'm not a huge trout fisherman, but, you know, I want to give it a shot. So we got to buy some trout stuff, and I'm going to show you guys maybe a few different techniques, um, some, like, actual artificial lure techniques as well, some... Not live bait, but more of like more of like live bait, like salmon eggs and stuff like that. A couple different techniques we're gonna try today to catch some trout. He's never had trout. You never had I've rainbow never, trout before. I've never caught a trout before. Well, we're hopefully gonna change that. He's gonna catch a trout, and then we're gonna do a catch and cook. The old classic. Everybody loves a good old trout sandwich. Well, at least you guys do. I don't know if he's gonna like it or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. So we gotta get some stuff. We gotta get the gear. I literally have nothing except for a rod and reel in my truck, and uh, then we're gonna head to the lake and see what we can do. Ready to roll? We got the rods loaded up in the roller, and uh, I'm excited. I haven't caught trout in since, oh, for goodness sake. I haven't caught trout in, uh, I don't know, probably like six to nine months or so. I think maybe like back in April or March, something like that. So I'm excited. Trout does taste pretty good. I'm, I'm, I am a fan of trout uh, as far as like the whole catch and cook goes. One of my favorite things to catch and cook. One, because they're easy to clean. Two, because they taste good. And uh, yeah, anyways, we are gonna head to the lake. I'll see you guys there. We made it to the lake. It is absolutely gorgeous today. It really is. It's like 50 degrees. Just nice, cool, crisp fall air. Just <sighs> love it. Leaves are falling. Trout are biting. I'm excited. Bond's daddy is excited. We're ready to get this show on the road here. We got to get the bucket out. Got a bucket to hold the fish until we get home. We got all the goods right in this little baggie. And then most importantly, we got the rig, the rods. Ooh yeah, look at that. Oh, you even got the waders in the Rolla. Oh, yeah. I think I should get one of these, don't you think? Oh yeah. I feel like I should totally trade in the Tundra for the Rolla. I feel like the Rolla is way more economical and uh, just way more badass, for sure. All right, so we're gonna get rigged up here. First step, egg sinker. Put that sucker on there first. Slider on down. Then you're gonna get your swivel. Get one size number seven barrel swivel. You wanna tie this sucker on your, your main line and then you're gonna to wanna to take that four pound test and tie your four pound test onto the other side of the barrel swivel. Once you have your barrel swivel tied on, like I said, you tie on your, your four pound leader. It doesn't really matter how much you do on this, I don't know, maybe two foot would probably be fine. Now once you have your leader line tied on, you wanna throw your little hook. I got size hook. Uh, these are just regular size, size, what did I say? Did I say size hook? Size six, you want your size six bait hook Tie that sucker on there. Right there, that's the rig. I'm gonna take this down onto the bank and then we'll, we'll bait it up and see if Austin can catch his first trout. Ooh, perfect. Oh, this is a beautiful bank. A little wind blown bank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The only thing that sucks here is the water's not clean. It's not clear. Yeah. So it's gonna be, it may be harder to catch them, but we'll try. All right, Mr. Trout, don't let me down. Actually, don't let Austin down. This is an Austin trip. This is all about Austin. Much. He's got to catch his, his first trout. Let's put two of them on there. Two for good luck. How bad they smell? They don't really smell that bad. I don't know what they're made out of. I mean, I know they're like, you know, whatever, eggs and stuff, but whatever. All right, so we're going to roll two of them. So this is what we're going to do. It's basically a Carolina rig. But these, the thing about these trout eggs is they float. Ooh, that's a trout. All right, hang on. Let me run over there. Let me run over there. I just saw a trout bust. They're busting, boys. This is going to be good. We're on the right bank. Here we go. This is not a trout setup. This is like a, uh, I don't even know, a bass night crawler setup. But it was in Austin's car, so we're going to take it anyway. See what happens. We're literally just going to use the old-fashioned bobber and just throw it out there and see what see what happens. All right, so we got two salmon egg rigged up thing, trout eggs, I don't know what you call it. 
I'm gonna throw this little MEPS guy around, do a little bit of moving bait action, and just kind of cover some water, see if I can find the fish, because they, they do school. Like, this, this lake was recently stocked, and you can kind of see them bust and stuff. And uh, that's why I ran over and threw Austin's lure. But we're gonna throw this guy around and see. It's got some flash, got some thump. Something that they may be able to see in this little bit dirty water. Well, I suck at trout fishing. We're gonna make a move to a different lake. This one, I'm not a huge fan of. One, the wind's not blowing very much, which it's usually easy to find trout. You just go kind of the wind blown area. It's mainly, you know, similar to bass. The other thing I don't like about this lake is it's really muddy. It must have been raining or something while we were out of town. It's super muddy. And when you're throwing salmon eggs, it's like, how are they gonna see it? Maybe they can smell it, I don't know. But I know of another lake that's usually really, really clear. So we're gonna move, drive for like 20 minutes or so, trying to find another lake. Austin's got class tonight, so we gotta hurry up, get him some trout. A few moments later. All right, folks, we have made it to the second spot. Everybody and their brothers out here trying to catch some trout, apparently. Didn't realize it was such a popular, popular thing to do out here. Uh, but we're gonna go try a spot, found a little bit of a wind-blown point. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get something. I am absolutely starving right now. It is time for lunch, so we need to catch some fish. All right, I'm starting Austin off with some dough instead of salmon eggs, since I know they do float. And this is what I've caught them on before. And then I'm gonna rig up that bobber with some salmon eggs. Then I'm gonna run around with a little spinner. This spot's looking way better. More wind blown, water is crystal, crystal clear. Absolute beauty. Ooh, that was a bite. That was, there's a whole bunch of fish down here. I just had a bite. Yeah, dude, they're busting like crazy. I just had one smoke at my spinner. Like he was under for like four seconds with it. Okay, neck, start, tighten it up just a little bit. Tighten it up. Yep, he still has it. Go ahead and try to catch it. Go, 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 go. Yep. There you go. There you go. Bring him up. Bring him up. Lift him up. There you go. Your first rainbow. Here we go. Look at that. We got lunch, boys. We got lunch. Oh, yeah. Little slimy guys, aren't they? Oh, yeah. All right. Take him out, get him in the bucket. You got him? Yep. Got him? Oh, yeah. oh, he's jumping. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, look at him, bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. That's a bigger one. Cheese and rice, we got flying fish over here, folks. <laughs> there we go, now Heck we're talking. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah, see, are, are you enjoying yeah, it? Look how yeah. pretty they are. That's the second one, though. Yeah. Beauty, we got some lunch now, boys. Oh. <laughs> you good, bro? Chill. In the bucket they go. So this is the setup Austin caught the fish on. We got two salmon eggs on a small number six hook and then a white and red big bobber, like the old school bobber. And we're throwing it out there, just kind of like this, a crosswind. So the wind's blowing this way and we're seeing the fish school all in here. And I think the reason why the bobber worked is because it, it keeps the salmon eggs suspended. I don't know if I bought the wrong ones. Every time I've ever done this, the salmon eggs have floated, but this, they're not floating. I did something wrong here, I'm not sure. But the bobber keeps it suspended and then the bobber just floats and then the trout come and get it. So that's that's what Austin's strat was for catching that fish. And then over here, we've got the that Carolina rigged one, which hasn't had any luck, and I've been throwing dough and, and eggs on it and mixing it up, but so far the eggs are winning. And then what I'm throwing over here, and I've actually had a few hits and just no landing, is the uh, little wet, little MEPS, what is this number? I don't know, a number three, four, five, six, something. You got another bite. You got another bite. Uh-oh, Austin's getting bit and he's not even here. Uh, I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch your fish. I got him. I got him. I got him. Austin's in the truck looking for another bobber. There we go. There we go. That's a big one. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, boys. That's a pretty low guy. All right. That's three. We're getting there. The goal is five. I think five would be enough for Austin and I to eat some lunch. Have some decent amount of food. Oh wow! 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 Relax. All right, catch that fish there, Ricky. Let's get some lunch. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Nothing? Oh, I got him. Oh, you got him. No, 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 you got him. I got him. <laughs> he was coming right at you. Yeah. Oh, little, little, little squirt just doing its thing. Come here, buddy. Come here, little buddy. That's four. Yeah. We're doing something with our lives. Well, the Bond's daddy and I are leaving. We are going to go home. We got to fillet him up. So if you guys don't know how to do that, I'll teach you. Then I'll show you guys how I'm going to cook it. Kind of make a trout sammy. I think it's going to be good. Perfect. Lots of room for me to sit. No, we're good. Leg room's a mess. Eventually. Alrighty, folks. Here we go. Time to start cleaning these suckers. This is the big dog. I mean, that's a big. That might be one of the biggest like Nebraska trout I've caught before. That's pretty pretty good size. So this is what you do. Take your little knife. Stick it right here. Just make a nice slit. 
all the way down the belly. You want to make sure your knife's sharp. This guy has had sharper days, but it's not bad. Probably definitely not the way to hold the fish while you're cutting it, because right now the point of the knife is facing my, my hand, which is not what you want. But I've never been known to do a lot of smart things, so we're just gonna roll with it. So there you go, have it all open. These are all the, the guts and whatnot. I think these are, I think these are eggs. Not 100% sure, but pretty sure they are. And what you wanna do, you just take these guts right out. You just pull them out like that. Stick them in your trash bag. Then cut off the head. You don't have to do this, but I usually just do it. It's easier to clean. And you just run your thumb down this little bloodline right there in the middle and it cleans it all out. You just kind of sit there and scrub it all out. Just press your thumb against their spine and all the bloodline just comes out like that. And you just wash it out. Super easy. This is the first fish that I ever learned how to clean. And to, to, to date, it is still my favorite just because of how easy it is. And you leave it whole like this and I'll show you a little bit later how we're going to cook it. That's how you do one. I'm going to do the other three and then we're going to fire up the grill and see if we can cook these suckers up. This is what I got to come home to. Look at this. What is this? Finn, would you bite this off already? What is this? What has she done to you? He's a beanie baby. <laughs> what have you done to the dog? Why? Look at him. Look at him. That's what he is for Halloween. <laughs> this is what happens when I I'm gone. I leave for an hour this. to go fishing and I come back to this. I spent an hour on this. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Finn, don't ruin it. We have to get a picture. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> come here. Yeah, tear it up. Tear it up. You have to get a picture. For no, tear time. it up. Yeah, All right, well, over here, perfectly clean trout. Nice and clean and washed up. We got this little grill. Oh, that's hot. Yep. Hopefully this thing works. I've never used fish. Hit the fish button, so I would hope it works. That's how you know it's a good grill. All right, so we're going to give this a go here. There's a lot of different things you can use for these fish. I use lemon pepper. I'm just do a little salt bay action. Sprinkle it all on there. Just get it all nice and coated like this. You can even take your finger and just kind of spread it all around. Just make sure there's seasoning everywhere inside of these fish. And you take it, throw it on the grill. That, oh, wow. Look at that thing. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. I've never used this grill before for fish. All right, first ever trout tasting. Yep. No lies. What do you think? I like that. Really? The seasoning's good. What do you think it tastes like? Mm, kind of salmon, but not like exactly like salmon, but pretty close to salmon, I'd say. Would you eat it again? Oh yeah. You would put on a sandwich, put on a hoagie bun. Ooh. So this is how I like to uh, to eat it, I guess. You just take your fork and you can take the skin off like this. You usually can get the majority of it. Just kind of peel it back with your fork. And what you do, you just do this and pull it slow. You can see all these bones are still left. You can see right there. All the bones are left, you left you're left with a skeleton, and then this thing right here has no bones in it. That's just pure meat. That's how you eat a trout. At least that's how I was grown up and learned how to eat a trout. And uh, it's pretty good. I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. This thing just keeps beeping. Is it done? No, that's not done yet. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section down below. It was something different. Basically, Austin and I just got back from Canada. Bass fishing around here sucks, and uh, I heard that they stock trout. So we went to two different lakes, caught four trout. Austin caught three. I caught one, and it was the first time he's ever caught and eaten trout. Now, you guys kind of know how I do it, how I clean them, how I season them, how I cook them, and how I eat them. That's just a really simple way to do it. It's one of my favorite fish to do it with because it's so stinking easy and it tastes great. So, like I said, if you guys would like this video, let me know in the comment section down below. What else should I do a catch and cook on? Do some frogs, some beavers, roadkill, raccoons, skunk, coyote? I would never eat a coyote. That'd be weird. That, that's like, that's just, that's way too weird. But I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think I should catch and cook next. And um, drop a comment down below if you think Finn looks absolutely ridiculous in his outfit. He looks cute. <laughs>